Hey, this is Primo, and I'm going to teach you how to get Skype to work with the ASUS EPC and have it work perfectly. This machine is pretty great for me. The small form factor, the weight, the price is great. The problem was that Skype just couldn't make video out calls, even though the machine has a webcam installed with it. And uh, the other thing that I had problems with with uh, my EPC was uh, touch typing. I eventually got used to it and I'm working at a pretty fast clip. Alright, now the first thing that we have to do is to install a newer version of Skype for the EPC. Let's click on web. Now, we're actually going to use a version of Skype that's still in beta, but it works very, very well. I don't have any problems with it at all. I've never had crashes with it and I've been using it extensively for uh, the past couple of days. So uh, we need to go to skype.com so let's just select that www.skype.com press enter. Now we need to go to the download section. Alright so I'm going to click on download as soon as it's uh, available. I'd rather skip the ad that Skype has for uh, the new Skype phone. Interesting uh, though it may be, uh, we don't have it in Manila just yet, or if ever. All right, now the problem is we need the brand new version of Skype, and right now Skype for Linux, and the website automatically detected that uh, our web browser is on Linux, uh, is Skype 1.4. Now what we need is this new version with video calls out. It's in beta, but it works great. I have no hesitations recommending it to anybody. Now let's click on download now. All right. Now we're actually going to download what's called a package and uh, we're going to use uh, a command in order to have that installed. Alright, Skype 2.0 beta for Linux. Let's click on download now. Alright, now the thing is uh, there's a very specific package that we need to use for the EPC and that package is the Sandros version because uh, the EPC's version of Linux is based off Sandros. So I'm going to click on that to download it and we need to save it to disk. All right, let's click on OK. And by default, it's going to save it in uh, the user folder, which is great for us. So let's click on save. And there you go. So you can see it already downloaded that right there and, and did it pretty quickly too. And we do not need the web browser at this point. Now, at this point, uh, and it might scare some users, we are going to use the CLI the command line interface or what's called the terminal alright which is what I just described it to be the command line interface so press control alt E and you'll pop out the EPC's terminal and we need to uh, use a couple of commands here alright now uh, the first command is sudo which means that uh, we're doing everything as a super user and we need to use dp key KG, DPKG, the Debian package uh, manager. Well, not exactly the manager, uh, but it'll allow us to install Debian packages. Now we need the dash I uh, option, which allows us to install the package. And let's type in Skype. Now it's a pretty long name, so I'm going to press on tab so that we can have auto completion on. All right, and I'm going to press enter and it's going to replace my older version of Skype alright and it's just gonna take a couple of seconds and that's about it now the second thing that you have to do on the command line or there is an alternate way of doing it which I'll explain later now the thing that you have to do is to turn on uh, the webcam by default it's off and the thing is Skype won't be able to use it unless you do turn it on and the way to do it on the command line is to use this command sudo echo one 
and uh, I'm going to use the greater than space and a greater than character forward slash proc or process uh, forward slash ACPI slash ASUS slash camera and press enter and that will turn the webcam off and at this point you are through with the terminal now all you have to do is open up Skype go to the options turn on the video and that's it so your Skype will be working perfectly now if you don't want to keep repeating this command sudo echo one greater than forward slash proc forward slash ACPI forward slash ASUS forward slash camera you can actually go to the system BIOS and in device configuration enable the webcam to be on and you can get there by rebooting the machine pressing F2 and going to the next tab and going to device configuration so we can turn this off and there you go that's it Skype should be working perfectly with your ASUS EPC